Well, Mark, Easter tradition is a time when the, the league can change. You're handily placed in the playoffs. If you win all four, you could be in the third automatic spot. But if the standards slip, there's a host of teams underneath waiting to take your place. Is it all about being sort of calm? It's important to be calm, for certain. Uh, it's important we, we just keep picking points up and, and get as many as we can. I think that would be every, every team up and around it. That would be their aim. Um, we've got some tough games, starting with a tough game at, at Tranmere. So we focus on that and, and try and do what we can. You've been in this position before as a manager. What do you tell your players? The message doesn't really change. It's, it's do what we do, stick to what we do. But we're not going to change anything now we're in this position and, and panic. We're just going to keep doing what we do, try and stay calm, try and give the players confidence, um, try and maintain their fitness, condition, make sure they're conditioned properly, get enough rest. Um, and then send them out to play. I mean, you've only got two days between Friday and Monday. What are you going to do with those two days? Are you going to send them home or are you going to have them in training? They, they'll have a day off on Saturday and, and then we'll be in to prepare on Sunday. Um, you know, it's, it's important that we, we do our preparation and uh, recuperation and, and, and they get their rest on Saturday. Um, you know, they've got to make sure they're drinking their fluids as well with the, with the heat. Um, and we prepare on Sunday for a, for another big game on Monday. The teams around you are playing each. I mean, Tranmere are playing Lincoln. They've got to play Berry as well. So the third spot is, is it could be not for yours if you win all four. That would be good, wouldn't it? I mean, you get two weeks off at the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, listen, that's, that's in an ideal world. I know that's utopia, isn't it, to finish and, and do that. But there's an awful lot of things that have got to happen um, for that. And we we try and be realistic and. Um, and our first aim is to, to secure a playoff spot. And to do that, we need to go and perform well at Tranmere on, uh, on Friday. You know a lot about Tranmere, of course. You've got James Norwood who's scoring goals for fun. And Manny Monte, was, you managed him, so yeah. you know a bit about them. I think they've done absolutely fantastic. You know, um, the run they went on to get them in such a strong position was, was incredible. Um, they got some solid, solid guys, some solid players. Um, the manager's done a fantastic job. Uh, two seasons running now to, to be in with a realistic chance of getting automatic promotion with four games to go. Um, I think he's done a marvellous job. Um, and James Norwood is, is a striker that, you know, I'm sure every club in this league and the one above would would be would be desperate for. And he's, you know, he's out of contract. He's in a brilliant position as long as he stays fit. Um, you know, to to be in a great position come next season, but they've done really well. With Norwood up front, you've always got a chance. But I like what they do. Big club, uh, great support. It's going to be a tough game, but we're not bad either. It's supposed to be buzzing there, weren't it? Be a huge crowd there. It'd be a brilliant atmosphere. It, it always is that that big cop behind the goal um, really gets behind the team, and um, we've got to go and deal with that as well. But it's great. That's what we want. We wanted to be in the league to to play on occasions like that with you know nine, ten thousand people. That'd be fantastic. I mean, whatever happens, we've done well this season in the, in the second season in the football league. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But uh, the big push that would be tremendous, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be, it would be. It would be sensational to do that for such a small place to to be anywhere near League One would, would be great. And that that's our. We're, we're not really talking about we've done well uh, and we want to finish it off we want to we want to get in the playoffs and uh, have a bash at it thanks mark cheers cheers Bob. mark you've been tram here three times on the spin does do you feel that gives you a psychological edge going into this game mm, maybe it maybe plays on probably the tram here fans mind more than more than the players and staff but i think you always get teams that you you seem to do well against um but that has to end sometime. But let's hope it's not. It's not on Friday. Yeah. A lot of teams tend to sit back when they go to Prenton Park. Will, will that be your philosophy? We can't really do that, Ash. We're not very good at that. Um, we have to play our game. We have to go and take the game to them and, and be on the front foot. Yeah. And do you think your players will relish the environment there as well? I mean, it's a real proper proper stadium, isn't it? A I hope so. We. We seem to to do well in the in the big occasions, and uh, hopefully that that continues. And and 
it'd be like I say, we're looking forward to it. It'd be a brilliant atmosphere, it'd be a proper, proper league football game, and um, looking forward to it. Yeah. You men- mentioned James Norwood. How, how do you deal with a player of that ability? But you have to be, you have to be, you have to be mindful that he's going to constantly ask questions of your central defenders. By he's always looking to get in behind them. Um, you have to make sure that the, you close the space for him to run in behind. Um, and you have to make sure that it doesn't get one sniff and, and keep doing your job properly. He's probably the, the best at it that I've seen um, for running in behind. And we have to be careful. Yeah. Do you, would you say two wins will rubber stamp your playoff place? Is that what you need at the moment? Is that what you're targeting? I think looking at the other games, I think one will do it more or less. But it'd be great if we can, if we can get a couple. But we're aiming to, to win all of them. And um, I think you have to do that. But... Let's just concentrate on Friday and, and see what happens after that. We mentioned Manny. Do you feel surprised how well Manny's done, or has he got that ability? He's, his ability has never been in doubt. He's, um, he's, he's a big boy, he's quick, he's got a good left foot. Um, and I think possibly going up to Liverpool, uh, he's at a place now where further away where he can't be easily led. And, uh, and he's. He's done really well, and good luck to him. He's a, he's a good boy, and uh, these things happen. Yeah, and of course, you've got Mark. El- they've got Mark Ellis there as well. He was a good servant in his short spell here. Yeah, the, both centre halves in the playoff final that played for us are playing for Tranmere. You know, we we tried to buy Mark after the after the playoff final, but we couldn't we couldn't get agreed terms with the club he was at. Um, and he's a, he's a great competitor, great lad, great pro, and. Um, Done really well, the pair of them. Yeah. I know it's only just one game, but games like these are the ones you really want to be involved in. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being involved in it myself, and uh, the players know what to expect. They know what's coming. And I think we're just excited about going, going to show what we can do on a big stage, and uh, you know, and our players want to showcase their abilities as well. And if we can do that and get in the playoffs, and it'd be brilliant. All the best, Friday. Thank you. Thank you.